My dream lunch would be like on a hill and it's sunny and there's trees. I've never had a cafeteria in any of the schools that I've been to. In my dream cafeteria, I would have healthier foods. When you go back to class, I feel like you're really slow. The Reimagining School Cafeterias project is dedicated to reimagining school cafeterias and eating experiences as places of health and education and equity and inclusion. Creating a healthy school environment is holistic. It's not just about the food that's served, although that's incredibly important. To ensure that they are tasting it and enjoying it and trying it, we need to ensure that schools as a whole are creating opportunities for students to engage with hands-on food-based learning. This project is focused on creating that opportunity and making that opportunity available to all 60,000 elementary and K-8 schools across the country. We're replacing the community members that we're designing for at the center of the design process. How does the cafeteria experience make them feel? Does it happy? Excited to see friends? Does it make them feel stressed for a particular reason? And get their perspective on what they would ideally like to see. There are certain trends that we see and then some unique challenges challenges from place to place. We are a low-income community. If they can't have it at home, sometimes they don't eat supper. If they get to eat, it's breakfast and lunch at school. A lot of them are so used to eating prepackaged wrapped foods. It's just hard for them to try new things. It's hard to get them to eat the good stuff that's on their trays. A majority of Food Corps partner schools are underserved schools. Historically, their voices, their needs have not been incorporated into the design process. At Mundo Verde, our students eat in the classroom. We don't currently have a cafeteria designated space and they might stay in that classroom. There's less of a break. Time to eat meals is a huge challenge for both students and administration. We have such a small period of time to even eat. Well, I don't really get time to like talk to my friends and then eat. I would probably extend it a little bit longer. They're talking to you and like you've got to look at them because that's showing respect. Because right now they're sitting in rows, so they're going to turn around and talk to their buddy and leave their plate in front of them and not eat at all. It's really important to teach students the value of a communal meal time because it also supports sharing, effective communication, having empathy. It's important for students to have breaks throughout the day in much the way that adults need breaks. I mean, I know that if I don't eat my lunch um, during the day, I'm quite cranky. If they don't eat, most of them are going to end up thinking that they're not smart enough because their grades fall. They're gonna have that mentality that they're not able to do it. And food's a lot of that. If students don't have the opportunity to eat a nourishing meal, they're not able to show up and reach their full potential. Having a positive experience with school food that allows students to eat nutritious, delicious meals and a place that feels safe for them, both physically and emotionally, we need to make sure that that opportunity is available to every single kid. This is not a privilege for students. This needs to be a right.